So I've just finished grating two cheeses for my garlic and cheese popovers. And now I'm gonna separate five garlic cloves. We're gonna really flavor up these popovers. Five garlic cloves. And now, to the five garlic cloves, six eggs. And I know it sounds like a lot, but we need it to get that fluffy popover that we want. So we're just gonna crack the eggs and drop them right into the blender. Great. Excellent. So now that the eggs are nice and frothy, and they smell like garlic, so good, time to add two cups of milk. And you need whole milk at room temperature. There we go. Then my cheese. So we've got three ounces of Asiago and one ounce of provolone. Mm, nice and sharp and so delicious. And you can pretty much add whatever flavor you want to the popovers. A little bit of parsley. See, I think it's really pretty to see a little bit of uh, green color in the actual popover. It just makes it more festive. And it adds a little bit of fresh flavor too. So we got the parsley, and we also need one and a half cups of flour. It's that ratio of flour to liquid that creates these really hollow, fabulous, light popovers. And we need another half cup. Excellent. Then a little bit of salt, seasoning the popovers right from the beginning, and a little bit of pepper. There we go. All right, now we'll turn on the blender and mix it all together until it's all combined and light and fluffy. So now, grab the blender. And I have my muffin tins right here that I've already greased so that the popovers can kind of pop out really easily. We're gonna pour the batter into the muffin tin about three quarters of the way up. So we're gonna bake these at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes until they're golden and beautiful. So let's pop these in the oven and get them going. Let's take a look at our popovers because I can smell the cheese. Wow, these smell incredible. It's all that cheese and the garlic. I'm telling you, oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into these. These are awesome. It's funny, you know, popovers, they'll fluff up and then once you take them out of the oven, they sort of deflate a little bit. So don't worry, that does happen, but it's all good. They're still gonna taste and look fantastic.